Aber die Fili, was da das ganz an, immer Poli herum mit uns, wo immer man sie saß. Sind es so, ist da angekommen. It is a great pleasure and an honor for me to be here today. The review of the Constitution and the approval is a historical moment for your party and the important step to continue to promote your party and later the election campaign in the year 2016. But to be here is also for me an obligation because our struggle for animal welfare and animal rights and the fundamental rights of all animals must go beyond the borders of our own homelands. We must internationalize our efforts for animal welfare and animal rights because all over the world animals are extremely suffering, in particular in the intensive livestock farming. Therefore, it is necessary that we work hand in hand together. Cyprus needs a progressive and modern animal welfare party. My philosophy is the earth not depends on us, but we depend on the earth and people depend on each other. I'm sure many of you think the same way not for nothing, your party carries the slogan for animals and people together. We all live on the same planet, animals and humans. But only we have the ability to protect our planet. A great chance to engage ourselves for the earth, for the animals and for the people is the political way. Beside our behavior, how we treat the animals and how we treat this planet. There is no doubt, most of the people do not treat the animals very well. And they use this planet only for their own goals. They do not recognize that we only have one Earth. A Earth for us and for the upcoming generations. We must stand together now to start a peaceful revolution for those who cannot defend themselves. Because most species of animals and plants will be gone forever if we not start now to defend them. The whole ecosystem is in danger. Every day up to 150 species become distinct. Who is responsible for that? We humans are responsible for the extinction of species in 90% of all cases. In a few decades, the oceans will be only lifeless dumps of our civilization. Most species of marine life will be extinct because of the global demand for fish in, used in our kitchens, but also used in the livestock farming. In a few decades, the last remaining rainforest the green lungs of our planet are gone forever because we need room for plantations of soy, soya beans to feed the animals or we need room for grazing land for cattle because McDonald's and Burger King need supplies to satisfy the greed for meat on the whole world. In a few decades we will have the climate so far heated up so our high living standards that the consequences are a nightmare. The human civilization, if we not change our behavior very soon, the human civilization as we know it today will end. Today worldwide more than 500 billion farm animals slaughtered each year. According to a UN report, in the year 2050 the number will have doubled. All these animals die because our greedy consumption for meat, milk, cheese and eggs. Yeah, it really looks that our appetite is much greater than our compassion with the suffering creatures. Animals die in fur farms because still men and women 
look for fashionable clothes. Animals die for so-called scientific progress in animal testing laboratories. <coughs> in Spain and Portugal, bulls are tortured to death because there are people who have fun to see an animal suffering. Day by day, wildlife animals get killed in the oceans, in the woods and fields, because hunting and fishing is for many people a kind of sport. Of course, most of the animals get killed in the intensive livestock farming for food. But despite the mass production of meat, every three seconds a child is dying because it has nothing, because it has not, not enough to eat. The rich nations stealing wheat and soybeans from the plates of the poor to fattening the animals in the livestock farming. What should we say to a mother with a dying child in Africa that we looking more for this, what we have on the plate for our food, for the steaks? It's very difficult. If we want a better life for the poor, we should stop eating meat. That's the easy solution. But it takes time, long time. And until we have a global vegetarian society on earth, we can improve the laws, the animal welfare laws. <clears throat> this is very important. I be sure if we convince the people and the politicians to change laws and to treat the animal in another world, I be sure a other world, a better world is possible. A world without, with less cruelty or without cruelty. A world where animals also have fundamental rights. In the European Parliament I try to convince my colleagues that animal welfare is very important. Animal welfare is the best way to protect people and the nature too. In the last eight months, I was quite successful in convincing my colleagues in the parliament. Eight months ago, when I started to be in Brussels and Strasbourg, there were 20 MEPs in the Intergroup for Animal Welfare. I have used every chance to promote the Intergroup and to explain my views. Today, nearly 100 MEPs are members in the Intergroup <coughs> and they strive for better animal protection laws in the European Union. And maybe a small story, before I was in the European Parliament, in the restaurants they served foie gras. I'll be sure everybody knows what is foie gras, this goose liver pate in French, a specialty where the animals really get tortured. And we have organized something and suddenly it works. Foie gras is now history in the European Parliament. They not serve it anymore. <laughs> Until all cruelty to animals has an end, it will be a long, long journey. Mahatma Gandhi said, first they ignore you, then they laugh about you, then they fight you, then you will win. We have the chance to change the system in a democratic and a peaceful manner. Let's start together now. Dikeo Mata, Yata, Soa, Torah.